different tissues or skin, the parts of fish. But let's say that we like to see a discrimination based on type of fish. And then it will be it will not be an unbiased analysis, but it will be a biased analysis. That our need is to study that what are the 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 effect of type of species on its uh, profiling on mineral profiling instead of type of tissues because the here we see that main factor was the type of tissue instead of type of fish. But we say, okay, no, we don't need it. We just need the, the, the difference between different species. Then we need PLSDA, a more uh, biased analysis, targeted analysis yeah, for that. And uh, for, for PLSDA, it's also, we just click on the desired model, whatever it is. Then we go to edit. And we see that this model two we like to edit, or in other case, you know, we can also go to uh, new as. So we can create new model as one of these, and then we can edit it. So let's say we can we we edit the same model here. This model, second model, we edit it. So click here. So we see these are the observations. So this is observations and we, we select all the tissues from them as we classify these as a class one. What I did, I just clicked on the first one and then I clicked the last one by pressing shift button on my keyboard. Otherwise, I can just click first one and then control, pressing control and then left click by one by one. Uh, the first one and then shift and left control in the last and this is like oh, so this is at class one i set the class as one okay then trout so i combined all the choose all the different segments of this trout in one class it's called two set and then silver fish as set so we can see here that large fish this was we was an outlier and we removed it. We can include it. I click here and then include or exclude it. Or we can exclude anything else, just exclude it. Or we will not include it. So then we select on Thala and this Thala and then set as a class. And then China fish and then China. So we have these five classes. And we selected model type as PLSD. If we click here, we have different model types also. But for OPLS, we need a Y factor. So, and then we can do PCA, also PSA, PCA, normal PCA. We can do, but we need PLSD, a discriminant analysis. And then we say, okay. Now this is PLSD, unfitted. But we need to fit this. So just fit it. Look here in this, I, I did out of it, but didn't generate any component. I say that first two component. So this was the case I have start. I mentioned that sometimes it uh, didn't work because if the discrimination is not a higher scale or it's not significant, then it will not work. So anyway, we have it by we pushed it to generate the first two uh, components. And then we can have an overview. Or we can have a score plot. It needs on our, on our need. We had five classes. And this color is based on classes. It's not always we can change. I previously mentioned that just from format plot or properties, we can change the color or format plot. We can format, reformat the plot. By default, it gave us five different colors. We, we are okay with these. So these colors look at here. This is five number China, and then this one, and then this one. It is on the below side. So now 
our discrimination is something like something like in this direction or it or it is something like in this direction let's see it's by plot so analyze and then by plot and now we can see that this discrimination is there we can see the models if you zoom it so this is the five and then this is four and then this is three and this is one and this is two and the same a, a, a bit same pattern it's not it doesn't seem a significant but it a bit is like in this direction so we can say that this can be a difference of these things uh, zinc and manganese and copper iron etc in this direction and these play a role so this was a plsda one thing we can do the scaling that that is important uh, scaling in the multivariate data analysis so we can always do scaling by simply editing our existing model so I'll click on home and then edit and then edit the desired model and now we have scale so just select all these all of your variable and then we have this type of scaling on uv or parito and central or any other uh, and then set as scale we can have a partial scaling if we have uh, different variables in different units then we can have some of these as uv and some of these as central it depends on our need uh, i didn't change it and then simply okay you can change it and then after changing you need to auto fit again so if the score plot shows groups it is advisable to understand the differences between the groups but if it's not possible then uh, classify it and use a plsda or in future we can use the oplsda when one is interested in the relationship with the responses why then of course opls or o2pls is advisable uh, to fit different uh, models for each uh, group so it was all about pca and plsda uh, we have a number of other options like hotlink t-test we can do it separately we can have we can transpose our data we can split our data into different things then we have contribution we have permutations uh, cv score and cv anova plots here and uh, and a number of options you can uh, explore it uh, uh, by yourself so th this RAC plot is also a very important plot and we have 3d scatter plots and we can always change the size of symbols or the fonts or colors of anything 